Hi guys, uh, just doing a quick tutorial on uh, Easy Keys. Just going to show you how easy it is to use this software and how quickly you can uh, get up and running making quite complicated chord progressions in no time at all. Uh, without having to use anything like um, an expensive MIDI controller or keyboard or anything like that. Uh, you can just use this software just using uh, by clicking and dragging basically chords into the software. You can do that by pressing this button here, which will insert a chord straight there. Uh, I think I'm going to start by using a a flat or a G sharp. This uh, circle of fifths uh, is genius, actually. The inside is all minors, and the outside is all majors. And then at the top you have these... Uh, Augmentations of the chords, uh, major seven, sustain fourth, six, any basically any chord you could ever think of is in the software. Right, I've got that G sharp there. I'll include a new one. A lot of the time when I've been using the software, I've just been kind of listening to it and just seeing how it progresses, seeing how it goes. Um, I think I'm gonna try. That sounds quite nice. And now I think I'll go for a C. I'll try a minor chord. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then uh Right, that sounds quite good. I'll try just copying, pasting a few times, and I'll make it uh, more complicated each time I do this. What you can do with this button here is you can actually chop chords up and then change the next one. I think because the next chord is G sharp, I'll make this one a G minor. That sounds good. Also, just to let you know, when you split chords up like this, uh, when you play it, you'll be able to hear that this one actually drops down in volume. So you can quite easily like get over that by just increasing the velocity by double-clicking on the chord, just like that. Uh, about Getting it to about anywhere between 16 or 18 will probably bring it to about the same kind of level as the last one. Right, now this is when things get like more complicated and a bit more interesting you can um, you can start using things like these buttons up here I'll make this one a major 7 that sounds nice uh, 6 sounds good there make this one 7 sounds good I think I'll just leave that one there Keep that one. I'll keep that one as it is, I think. I think I might go down on that one. Uh, I might put it to a G. Make it slightly darker just to see how things go. Uh, C minor, I'll keep that. And then for this last one, I think I'll split that up again. I'll make, complicate this again and make that one a major 7. And I'll make this one a, a G again, but yeah, it's the same force sound good. Right, I'll just run through that, see how it sounds. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to increase the velocity on that last one again. And uh, 
try affecting a few more things. I might increase the reverb on it. These uh, control knobs right here are great actually just for really changing, getting it how you want it. It's also a preset library of a few things. Uh, I think I'll keep it on piano because a lot of these are um, pretty different. I mean this horror score one, if you listen, it's just... It's a bit too detuned. There are good uh, good presets, but I'll just stick to piano just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, increase the reverb again, bit of compression, a bit less tone. Take that to about 40, 40 percent. There we go. Uh, another great feature as well, um, usually when I'm making songs, I like to mess around with them. I don't just like sticking to one uh, key. And they've got this great section here just for changing it around. Yeah, I think I prefer that actually. Uh, I'll keep that like that. Um, also, if you you know if you're not feeling piano and you want to possibly move this onto synths, you can click and drag. And all you have to do, I've got an instance of massive up here. All you need to do is just drag the MIDI notation in, and it'll go straight into massive. And I can just click and play on that. And if I turn if I turn easy keys off. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Uh, right. So now that I've got a piano and a synth sword, you might see how it sounds with a bit of lead over the top as well. What I'll do now is I'll just uh, loop this section here. And uh, I've actually got a Novation launch pad set up. I'm just going to tilt the camera. And uh, just see what I can do playing over the top of it. Start at the start, that would help. There we go, right. Let's see how this sounds. an idea of just how easy that is to uh, get making songs uh, just using this software alone um, you don't need an ovation launchpad like I have or any other control you can just get making songs as easy as that and then uh, adapting them and using them however you want uh, thank you for listening to the tutorial I hope it helped and I hope you get making some great songs see you there, bye